Hey Veggies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my name is Mo, I'm 27. I'm working on my financial freedom journey. So you're like, okay sis, how are you working on your financial freedom journey? For one, I'm working on my budgeting, right? How I allocate my money, how I save my money, paying off my six-figure student loan debt. Um, I also have printables available on paperbymo.com. Make sure you guys click the link in the description to go check those out. It's very affordable. And she will be back to selling budget planners very soon. So make sure you guys are on the email list so you can stay posted. Because not only will I be selling the budget planners, I will be having um, deals coming out as well as newsletters on paperbymo.com. So if you're returning, hey friend. In this video, I'm going to go over my second paycheck for the month of October. I have to tell you guys, it's a fat check. <laughs> it's giving fat. It's giving moolala. Um, so my raise hit for this check and my um, the lump sum of money. What is that called? Oh my gosh, why can't I think of what it's called? It's not a raise, but it's just it's anyways. And once watch, I post this video, I don't know, I'm going to know what I'm talking about once I post the video. But anyways, yes, two things hit my check. It's a raise and a lump sum of money. So um, it's heavily taxed, but it is a big amount of money. Thank God. Um, if you didn't know previously, I ended up going out of town um, because I had to attend a friend's funeral. It was unexpected. That was about $700 spent to go to Miami. I'm not going to lie for one day. Um, it's life. Life happens. This is why we have emergency funds. But I posted on my Instagram and some people said, oh, don't use your emergency fund. Use any other sinking fund. Some people was like, yeah, girl, use your emergency fund. It's an emergency. I don't know. But like I said, I've been blessed to have this um, raise as well as this lump sum of cash um, to, to help me out. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get right into um, budgeting. <clears throat> So I haven't closed out my first paycheck quite yet, but I will do another video for that. And I told y'all, I said, y'all, I was like, I'm gonna do cash stuffing for this sec for the first paycheck, and I still have yet to do it. Um, but when I close out that um, first thing, you'll see I didn't, because of how expensive my trip to Miami was, I ended up not even doing any sinking funds, but <laughs> we're gonna go over it, and I'm gonna do my cash stuffing for, I think, the two paychecks together because life has been lifing and I don't even know if you guys can tell like got a little sickness going on it's not you know Miss Coviana because I tested negative 17,000 times but <clears throat> it's either a sinus infection or a cold I don't even remember what a cold feels like <laughs> but I have a doctor's appointment with an ENT an ears note and throat doctor so I'm dealing with that and like I said death is so hard so final Life has just been lifing. Okay, so this is the old budget planner. It has the plastic, that's how you know it's old. It also does not have the bill tracker in it. Um, yeah, so I, for, we're in October, and let's make sure. So that was the first paycheck. We're gonna go ahead and do paycheck number dos. For month, October, oh my God, did I show y'all my nails? So I had to get my nails done because I didn't want to go to like my friend's funeral looking crusty, rusty, dusty. So I did like an assortment of brown kind of. Um, In my mind, it looked better than what it looks now, but you don't know until you try. So I know I'm not mad. My toes um has this color on it, these colors right here the, on the, yeah. No, I didn't do this on my toes. <laughs> okay, so. What I'm starting out with is zero dollars because I did close out in real life my first paycheck. So I'm going to head and put starting at zero. Okay. I want to make sure you guys can see this. Okay. <clears throat> starting at zero. However, for my full time job, y'all, $3,173.40. Bonus. That's what the lump sum of money is. I got a bonus. And my bonus was $2,111, like $2,111. And then my raise was like 6.5%. I'm going to break it down on Instagram. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, follow me on Pinterest, because your girl will be on there as well, giving quality information. Um, so my bonus was $2,111, like $2,111. And then um, my 
raise was 6.5. Now, mind you, I um, <clears throat> brought up my 401k an extra 3% because I was like, you know what? I could do the five. They matched me five anyway, 5% for 5%. Go ahead and do that. And then, um, so really it's going to end up being like 3% per se. Okay. Because that's it's like, it's going to be about 3.5% because that's what I have left over after I raised it from the 401k. Okay. Y'all like girl what? So your girl has $3,173.40 to work with. I'm so blessed. So thankful to God, because let me tell you, if it ain't for him, you know what I'm saying? If it ain't for him. So, first things first, I like to go with my bills. I'm just going to get the calculator, calculating 3173.40. So, for my bills, if you don't know, I do my home. And what I encompass in that is first, I live with my boyfriend. So, or we live together, I should say. We do it roommate style. So, we pay 50% of everything. So, for 50% of the rent, water, electricity, and internet, I save about, I do $1,010 a month. So for two paychecks, I just do 505, okay? So from my home bills, it's gonna be $505. I'm gonna subtract that from 317340 and minus 505. That is $2,668.40. So the next thing I do is my cash-ish. Pretty straightforward, um, kinda cash kind of ish <laughs> so for food i'm just gonna do 130 dollars and then i'm gonna have my his and hers okay his and hers that's gonna be 200 dollars and then we're doing 52 weeks and my one dollar savings challenge and i'm just gonna do 20 dollars per 20 dollars her okay and let me see what else do i want to include that darling there's nothing else so we're going to say 130 plus 200 plus 40 dollars that's going to be 370 dollars 370 dollars so you're probably like girl what about gas in your car 90 percent of the time well four out of the five days a week i work from home my job is down the street uh-oh <laughs> down the street and around the corner so I don't usually need a lot of gas. I already put, if you guys recall from the last paycheck, $25 um, for gas. So that will keep me just, if it feels what I'm saying. So $370, I'm gonna go ahead and take away $2,668.40. That's gonna be $2,298.40. So $2,298.40. Now we're going to move over here to save-ish. Okay. So for save-ish, we have IRA. We have my investment account. And then we have my emergency fund. I think that's all I'm going to do over here. Oh, and then I'm going to do my sinking fund. Okay. And then this right here is going to be debt ish and i'm gonna do my credit card and i'm gonna do my student loans and you're like why credit card girl you just paid it off and eh, mm. so <laughs> i put my flight you know hotel stay all of that stuff on my credit card first of all i have a delta credit card and you want the points second of all um yeah until i figured out where i'm gonna take the money from but i'm gonna pay my credit card off before the end of the month that's for sure okay so for my ira Hey, Ira, I'm going to go ahead and give it um, $200 for my investment. I'm going to give that $200. I tried to buy it, um, Gil, on the treasurydirect.gov site. I don't know if you guys have I-bonds because I wanted to get into that. And the rate right now is 9% and it ends at the end of this month. But I tried to make an account and it kind of was like, oh, we need more information. And now I'm like, it's too close to the end of the month. <sighs> I don't know. I feel some type of way. Okay, so you're like, girl, what are you talking about? Okay, so emergency funds, um, I want to give that $700. So let's calculate that. That's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 1100 That's 2000 I want to just, you know, see where it's at. $2,298.40 minus 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 minus 1100 That is $1,100. 
$98. Left over, darling. Left over. So, and I'm gonna give, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna give my sinking fund $690. So, let's calculate all of that and see where we are. So, we have $200 plus um, $200 plus $700 plus $690. That is, well, I was hitting kind of hard. $1,790 for my save-ish total, $1,790. And we're gonna subtract that from the 2,000. So we have minus $2,298.40. So that's $508.40 left over. Wait for Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to get my credit card $300 and I'm going to get my student loans $200. So that's going to leave me $500 with a total there. And that means my leftover cash is going to be $8.40. <clears throat> Let's say this is what's going to be cash. Um... I have been not taking my food out anyway and charging my credit card, which isn't bad. I'm definitely gonna take my his and hers out for sure. 52 weeks, $1 savings challenge. Um, some of the sinking fund will come out and some of it won't. So I kind of just wanna do like a little line right there for half of that. And nothing else. IRA is going to that account. Investment is going to my M1 account. Emergency fund is going into my Marcus by Goldman Sachs because it has very good interest right now. Credit card, 300 going straight to credit card. Student loans, Great Lakes, going straight there. This is going to my bills paying account. So here we are for my second paycheck of October. I'm so blessed, so grateful. So something that somebody mentioned to me is tithes and giving. Um, I do have a tithes and giving sinking fund. Um, that I partake in or that I use and so when I put out for my sinking funds that also encompasses my tithes and my giving um, another thing I feel like is supporting small businesses is a part of my giving most of the time being honest I don't really need anything you know or I don't even want for anything but I know that supporting other people may be um, God's way you know I don't know sometimes I just feel like it's put on my heart to support other businesses or whatever so even if you have a business make sure you guys comment below so I can shout you guys out and get some stuff from you guys to support your business get some views for y'all all of that so here's my second picture of October so grateful thankful for the bonus thankful for the raise um blessed by all means Y'all, just I've just been reevaluating life when, when you know someone that passes away at a young age, it just makes you think about everything. So I don't know. But here I am, second paycheck. Again, I'm gonna do the cash stepping together. Now that I'm back in New Orleans, now that I'm back at home, um, but I'm still a little out of you know weather, however, I'm just trying to get a sense of normality. Like I want stuff to be a little normal. So I'm trying. Here we are. Again, I'm making budget planners um, to be sold very soon. I'm talking about the top of November coming up real, real, real soon. Okay? Real bad. <laughs> so make sure you guys are on the lookout for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, check out all the links below. Go to paperbymo.com. And, oh, check me out on Instagram and Pinterest and TikTok and all the all the girlies you know the medias of the social i am there and i will see you guys in the next video bye